everybody. It is Wednesday night already. Can you believe it that we are more than halfway through Vacation Bible School after tonight? This is my favorite story from the Old Testament, the Jewish part of the Bible, because Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego weren't going to bow down and worship that statue, even if it meant them being thrown into a flaming, fiery furnace. So it's a great story to remind us to take heart, isn't it? Let's look at our passage from Ephesians again, and then we'll look at our shield of faith. Put on all the armor that God gives you so that you will be able to stand up against the devil's evil tricks. So stand ready with truth as a belt tight around your waist, with righteousness as your breastplate, and as your shoes the readiness to announce the good news of peace. At all times carry faith as a shield, for with it you will be able to put out all the burning arrows shot by the evil one, and accept salvation as a helmet, and the word of God is the sword which the Spirit gives you. Tonight we're going to look back at some armor that we talked about this week. The shield, which was the shield of faith. Then we had the helmet, which was the helmet of salvation. And then, to cover our hearts, the breastplate of righteousness, which we used as David's shepherd's staff. But all these things have something in common, and tonight we're going to look at the one that's called the sword of the spirit. What's different about a sword from the others? Well, if you look at it, the shield protects the person wearing it, the helmet protects the person wearing it, and the breastplate protects the person wearing it. And the sword is really more of a weapon, isn't it? But that's part of the armor as well. But if you look at the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they didn't need a weapon. They didn't fight back against King Nebuchadnezzar. They said, we will not bow down and worship your statue because we believe in God's word. They knew the first and second commandments of God, which were, you shall have no other God before me, and you shall, shall not make any statues like the big one that Nebuchadnezzar put up and worship them either. And so tonight, what is our symbol? Let's see. Remember, we start with a shield that's faith, then the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, and now the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit. And those are the tablets that baby Moses brought down that mountain when he grew up and became much older. So that's our symbol for this evening, the word of God. See you tomorrow.